There's actually been a video going around on social media or, or a post going around on social media today that I've seen of a fire in a caravan that the particular fire department is blaming lithium ion batteries. So I thought it would be a really good opportunity to talk about lithium ion phosphate batteries and the safety of those particular batteries um, and also what can cause fires in caravans. So first of all, lithium ion phosphate batteries are part of a lithium ion family of batteries that have a lithium content in them. They are a chemical based um, compound that creates energy. There are varying degrees of um, or various different types of batteries. For example, the batteries that you find in phones or e-bikes or laptops or anything like that are very, very different batteries to what we put into a caravan for a energy or energy in a, in a caravan, they're called lithium ion phosphate batteries. Those other types are different types of lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion phosphate batteries are extremely safe. Very, very unlikely to thermal run away. It's extremely hard to get them to thermal run away. However, they are very similar to all the other chemistries in that if they do catch fire, they are very difficult to put out, which will lead to um, fire department's having a massive issue with trying to get these types of batteries to extinguish. But, because they are so safe, the likelihood of them causing the fire in the first place is minimal. So, I just want to quickly show you what can happen when you have an installation in a caravan that isn't necessarily installed in a way that's going to protect um, the circuit from being overloaded or short circuited or installed incorrectly in a way that may cause a fire. Okay, so this caravan has a 200 amp hour lithium battery outside in a box. It's a good quality battery, it's one of the original Enerdrive BTEC batteries. Underneath the bed here we have our DC DC charger which does solar as well. We've got an AC charger here, which works whilst plugged into mains, and we've got a 2600 watt inverter. Now, basically when I've taken apart this van to start installing the new system that's going in here, I have found immediately an installation issue that could potentially cause a fire. So what the previous installer has done has taken the output side of the DC-DC charger and installed it in parallel with the 40 amp AC charger. So this circuit now has the potential with these two chargers in parallel to generate 80 amps. This cable is what I would call 8BNS, uh, which is an automotive size cable or AW, 8AWG which is roughly, approximately rated at 50 amps safely. So we, we are overloading this cable straight away, but probably worse than that is that the other end of this cable, which is the one that was connected to the AC charger, is connected to the terminals of the inverter with no circuit protection on it. So no circuit breaker, no fuse. So if something goes wrong with this cable, here, if this shorts out, for example, or one of these devices has a fault, then that, that is not protected. It's only protected by a 300 amp fuse, which is located next to the battery. So basically what that means is this cable will melt to the point that it catches fire the battery has the capacity to deliver extremely high amounts of current for short periods of time, which can overheat this cable, prospectively causing the fire. So when we talk about fire safety and installations, this is one of the major issues that you find is that the installer hasn't installed things properly or put circuit protection in or crimped the cable properly, which causes heat 
which causes the fire in the first place, which ultimately, yes, the lithium battery will catch fire if the rest of the caravan is also caught on fire. So, quite often in summary, sorry, quite often, the lithium battery isn't the cause of the fire. It's the hardest thing to get out. Put It's the hardest thing to extinguish in the caravan because it is a lithium battery. But this type of thing is the cause of the fire in the storm.